All right, everybody, welcome back. So I want to talk a little bit about the Florida Panthers and their season. I think overall they had one of the best seasons any NHL team could ask for. And even though they lost the Stanley Cup final in five games, you know, they remember they were not supposed to be in this. Uh, and had Pittsburgh defeated Columbus or Chicago one more time, uh, it would have been, you know, Crosby gets in and he's probably not going to go. He he probably doesn't have the juice to go up against uh, David Pasternak and Bergeron and Olmark and everyone else on the Bruins. Uh, so that is... Uh, that's the thing. The uh, um, when they got in uh, to the to face the Bruins, uh, the Panthers, they um, it was three to one, um, and uh, apparently it can be really good luck or really bad luck. And it was three to one, and they just lost it. They blew it. Um, the Bruins blew it, and they had multiple chances to do it. Uh, there was a goal, either Bergeron or someone else uh, as well. Maybe it was Taylor Hall that had a breakaway um, in Game 5 and uh, couldn't put it away. And then the Panthers win in overtime, and, uh, and then that starts off the chain reaction. And then they were 60 seconds, not even 60 seconds. They were 59.3 or whatever seconds away from going to the next round to face the Maple Leafs. Couldn't get it done. Couldn't get it done. And um, uh, and then Carter Verhage wins it in overtime for that game seven against the Bruins. Uh, now, congratulations to the Leafs for making it to the second round, but they were railroaded by the Panthers, and at least they did get... Uh, at least the uh, Maple Leafs got to win one second round game. So they did that since uh, VCRs were sold at Circuit City. And actually, uh, that probably is the truth because they ha hadn't done that until uh, 2004. And, and VCRs were still a thing back then. I, I remember that. So uh, congrats to the Maple Leafs for making it to the second round. But yeah, you got defeated by Matthew Kachuk and... Sergei Bobrovsky as well. And another thing as well, Sergei Bobrovsky was arguably, you know, the comeback kid. He was a comeback kid. It's that simple. And, and he did great. And he was like Neo from the Matrix. And then the Golden Knights just managed to expose him. And uh, yes, and, and, he, and he was the key reason why they swept... Carolina, and, and that's that series could have gone either, you know, the first two games could have gone either way because we almost had, like, the longest overtime ever with uh, with game one. And then they then they have to go into game two, and then there's still overtime, but they get it done in the first overtime as well uh, there. Then they win games three and four, and, and they... Uh, have to head into Las Vegas on the Strip. And they couldn't... Um, first game actually was much closer after an Anthony Duclair uh, shot from the face-off circle and uh, that getting through. You know, it's 2-2 going into the third period. And, you know, I think, okay, you know, the, you know they'll find a way. I know it. They're the comeback kids. They, they know how to do it. Even if we have to go to overtime... It's not the end of the world. They're going to figure this out. And, and it just wasn't the case. And and sometimes the Cinderella story just isn't there. It, it, it's not there. And, you know, and, and just like Rocky, he, he, pro he probably would have in like 1976 when that film came out. Uh, anyone other than Apollo Creed, he would have beaten at the time. And, th and then it shows us that um in Rocky 3 until uh he goes up against Clover Lang but that's a different story the 
Game two was uh, just not in their favor. Uh, don't even want to talk about that one uh, as well. So there's that. Game three, they win. Uh, three to two. And I believe, yeah, they, they whatever. They win that in overtime, and they have to take the Golden Knights to overtime. And at least they win in their building. So I think that's a good sign. So you think, you know, that's a good sign. Game four, they just couldn't do it. And 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 then they have to go into Vegas one more time for game five. And then they play each other. And we have the 9-3 loss. And Mark Stone gets a hat trick for the first time since, since landline telephones were a common staple in the household. 1922 was the only other time any player had gotten a hat trick in a Stanley Cup final finals game final, finals game that won their team the game essentially or even or or even lost it too. And, and you would think with someone like Gretzky as well or or Messier or or Crosby, or someone, um, or Lemieux, even in that would would be in there. It would would be in there. You know, would be in that statistic. But no, we went we went over a hundred years without that happening. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, it, it it was very unbelievable that it happened, and 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 then you know you you, you don't think about that because. You know, either it's a low-scoring game or it's a blowout. And, and you would think like a 7 nothing game uh, when the Penguins defeated the Minnesota North Stars in 91 that someone would have gotten a hat trick. Apparently not. So there's that. Apparently not. Uh, so we had that. Man. <sighs> This was also the, the least watched finals as well. So there's that. And, and, and I can't blame Florida for having that low ratings. It's They're not the Toronto market. They're not New, New York or LA or Montreal. They're not they're not a traditional hockey market. Sun, Sunrise is not a traditional hockey market. So, but I think with the small market that they've had for so long and to get to this far, when they were the eighth seed, they 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 were the eighth seed, and they and they fought their way to get into the playoffs. It is honorable, you know that is like 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 I love those comeback stories. And even though they didn't win, I think they just managed to show that the Panthers are gonna are gonna be a Stanley Cup contender for another five years. And I do hope that uh, Alex Lyon uh, can get up there and uh, get there with uh, Sergey as well. So um, let me know what you think of this. Um, I, I'm i just really hoping that the Panthers win a cup in like the next two or three years, and uh, maybe they will. And if you like this video, please like this, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.